So here we are, another service call. This is on a corner lot, so it's a very big yard. They've got 11 zones. And the issue that they had was they weren't thinking they were getting enough water on the ground or the system wasn't working efficiently enough. I mean, you can see there are certain areas of the yard where it's dry and it's even worse in the backyard. Now, I figured out the reason why they were dry here was because whenever the landscaper installed these concrete uh, uh, border around the landscape bed, they actually covered up two of the sprinkler heads, which were 3,092 tens. Thankfully, they're on swing joints, so it was a really simple task of just digging it up and then just moving it. But now we need to figure out why the other areas of the yard are not getting enough water. So every single zone I tested and everything works great. So there's no leaks. You've got head-to-head -head coverage. So our issue is simply the case of not getting enough water down. However, when I got here, the homeowners said that they got a $160 water bill. I live in Texas, so water is expensive. So this is how you figure it out. This is what I would do. First thing, double check the whole system, make sure there aren't any leaks. Once you've established there's no leaks, go to your water meter. Open this guy up, tap around on the faceplate. Every water meter looks a little bit different, so make sure you learn how to use the one in your area. This is a badger meter, so it has two numbers that are available. It has this short number, which is the water rate, and then it has a long number, which is the total water use. And what you want to do is either with a Romexcel or any other type of universal remote control, or if you don't have one of those, grab yourself a helper. Just go through every single zone. So start off with zone one, fire it up, and this one I believe is either the drip or the bubblers on the trees. I think it's the drip. And then what you want to do is then just take a reading. So you can see here we're looking at 4.52 gallons per minute. Oh, sorry, 3.55 gallons per minute. Go through every single zone and write down the total gallons per minute then work out their total weekly watering, then multiply that by four to get their monthly watering. Now you want to go to whichever city you're located in, you want to find out how much they charge for the water. So this house, their total watering three times a week, um, each zone three times a week, you're looking at a little under 17,000 gallons of water. Where we are for that uh, price bracket, you're gonna be looking at a little under $8 per 1,000 gallons. So for their system to run the way it is, they're gonna be looking at just the sprinkler system, a total water bill of around $120, $130. There's nothing wrong with the system, it's working exactly as it should. If they want their grass to look greener, they're gonna to need to water the zones for longer, and then they're also gonna to need to actually get a landscaper or someone that knows more about the grass to actually put down the right fertilizer but this is how you troubleshoot this is how you give them the information so that they can then make a decision because at the end of the day it's their water bill not ours or not mine I'm not going to tell them how much they should water their system I'm going to give them a recommendation and then say hey if you do this it's going to cost this much however if you do this it's going to cost this let them make their decision that way they cannot be unhappy with you